Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just thought I'd do a quick what sold video for y'all of the week from September 4th through September 10th. So I'm just going to jump to my computer and show y'all the what sold for my computer. Welcome to Sorderly and I'm back again for another what sold video for y'all. This video, this what sold week is from September 4th through September 10th, I believe. So I have my Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Macari pulled up. So the first sale that I have for y'all is these Madewell flats. Um, these sold on a best offer for $18. The next item I have is this Kate Spade nylon backpack. This one sold also, I believe it was a best offer for $45. This was from my personal collection, so um, I think I originally paid like $50 for it last year on sale. So I was just, you know, just trying to get rid of some items that I didn't use anymore. So $45 I think is uh, a fair price since I did use it for about a year or so. The next item I have are these Mercer Edit Block Heels. Um, and I paid a dollar, I think it was a dollar or two dollars for these at a garage sale, and they sold on Best Offer for $15. The next item are some Kate Spade wedges. Now, these actually sold in a bundle with a Michael Kors dress, um, both of them together for $20. So, the Michael Kors dress, I don't have the picture up here, but it was just like a basic black shirt, like a t shirt dress, and I Got it um, from a donation, so that one was free, and then bundled together with these, and they sold on an offer for $20. And I believe I paid a few dollars for these shoes, too. The next item, if y'all remember, is this Tiffany, uh, Tiffany Co. ring I purchased from a yard sale about a week or two ago, and this was bundled in with all of those stuffed animals and with this wooden piece of furniture thing um and i paid i think it was 12 dollars for everything including this jewelry and this one um the comps were actually all over the place so i wasn't sure what to price it at um some were selling 70 80 dollars and others were selling you know like 200 dollars. so i I think I believe I posted this one for 200 and someone sent me an offer for 148 and I went ahead and accepted that. So this is a great return on this ring. The next item is this diesel ring I purchased a couple weeks ago at a garage sale. I think it was like two or three dollars and it sold on best offer for $18. Next item is this new attack Skagen wallet. Um, I also purchased this at the same garage sale as the diesel ring before this. And this one actually sold in a bundle with another wallet from the same garage sale. And both of them, I think they were a dollar each. And the bundle sold for $30. So I'm okay. $2 into $30. I'll take that any day. The next sale is this Wrangler uh, Sherpa denim jacket. And this one sold on Best Offer for $17. And this one was also a free donation. So um, it wasn't a huge uh, sell because I, I think this might actually be like the Wrangler that sold at Walmart. So um, it wasn't a huge um, high dollar sell. But still $17 is not bad for a free item. The next item, if I remember, is from my Thread Up Mystery Box. These Sorel boots sold for $40 on Best Offer, and I believe I actually did post these for $60 or $65. So I did offer, uh, I did accept a $40 offer just because as soon as I posted them, I think I got this offer within like 20 minutes. So I'd rather have a quick flip instead of hold on to something and get like my full asking price. Now, other resellers out there, um, might disagree but um yeah I'd rather not have to store these longer than I need to and for a $40 offer in the same day that I listed them I don't think uh that was a bad 
a bad prophet. The next item is this Kasik uh, bra. And I sold two of these. It was a black one and I think it was a nude one. And they both sold together in a bundle. And this was also free from a donation that I got. And I believe the bundle, both of them together sold for $30. So um, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, and now the second uh, Tiffany jewelry that I got from that uh, garage sale. So both of the Tiffany jewelry, I don't know if I mentioned, but they were both tarnished. And I did put that in the description that both of them were tarnished. And um, this one I listed for $300 and it sold for my full asking price of $300. I wasn't actually expecting to get the full asking price just because I saw other um, necklaces that were selling, you know, similar to these that were selling for $100 or $150 or even $200 without as much tarnish as this one had. So I was really expecting to get like an offer similar to the ring or maybe even a little bit less. But when I saw that someone had um, purchased this outright, I was extremely excited. Um, and I believe it was a guest buyer um, on Poshmark. So they probably did a Google search and my listing came up and they just purchased. <laughs> so yeah, happy about that one too. The next item I have for y'all is now on eBay. And I think I only sold two items on eBay. So the first one, if y'all remember, is from um, one of the hauls that I recently did from Goodwill. Um, I can't remember uh, how far ago it was, but maybe a week ago, I think. And it was this vintage uh, Captain America shirt. Um, I think I paid like three to four dollars for this and it sold on best offer for 20 bucks. So yeah, quick flip there and I'm happy about that. Uh, the next item, I don't know if I did a haul on this, but it was a soft surroundings um, velvet tunic top. This one, I accepted a best offer on $18, and I wasn't actually um, thinking I'd get this much for it, only because once I got it at home, I was actually expecting to get more when I purchased it initially. So when I got it, I was planning on selling it anywhere between $30 and $40. But when I got home and I was taking pictures, I noticed that this was missing a button. So I lowered the price to 20 or $25 and someone sent me an $18 offer, which I gladly accept since it was missing a button. So yeah, this one, um, not too bad, I don't think. Moving on to Macari. So I purchased this, um, the tote bag uh, by Marc Jacobs on Facebook Marketplace for $250 and when i was researching it it was um sold out as you can see in the title right here sold out limited edition color so when i saw it on facebook marketplace 250 dollars, i was hoping that maybe i could negotiate uh with the seller on there and see if i can get it for a lower price technically i wasn't purchasing this to resell I was purchasing it for myself, but it ended up being like way too big for me. And I ended up not liking it. Um, normally I don't really like tote bags, but I thought this one was cute. And as I was negotiating, I thought, okay, well, if I don't like it, then I could always resell it and probably, um, you know, recoup my money back at least. So yeah, that's what happened here. I, if you can see right here, I actually had it listed for a lot more but um i wasn't getting any likes nobody um was sending any offers so that's when i ended up lowering it from 515 to th uh actually i didn't lower it to 388 i think i lowered it to 400 or maybe like 450 and someone sent this offer of 388 so i did accept that and i believe i ended up still making like an 80 dollars profit now, I'm not going to go back out and purchase another item for $250 just to make an $80 profit, but um, I'd say, yeah, this was worth it. I got to test out the item to see if I liked it for myself, didn't, and then I sold it and still made a profit. 
that is the good thing about having a reseller business is that you can always um, try things and then if they don't work out then you can always resell them uh, the next item was this um, vintage fossil uh, messenger bag I believe this might have been in a haul video um, but I got it about a week or two ago and um, I had it posted for yeah so I got this about a week or two ago and I had it posted for $45 and someone sent an offer of 36 and I was actually kind of surprised by this one because because I got a lot of likes really quick on across all platforms. Depop, Macari, Poshmark, eBay. Um, I was getting a bunch of likes. And so I wasn't sure that it was going to sell as quickly as it did, but I'm happy because it did sell for pretty quick. And fossil bags are a hit and miss. I don't typically pick them up. Um, unless it's something, um, you know, maybe something popular like this one. When I researched uh, sold comps and listed comps, this one seemed to have been doing uh, a lot better than a lot of the other fossil bags. So, yeah, um, I think I paid like $5 for this one. So I was happy with that sale. The, oops. The next sale is this Ivy Park set. Um, Y'all probably... Actually, I don't know if I did a haul on this one, but um, so this I purchased, it was a sold as a set together at a thrift store for $10 and I kept getting really low offers on it of $20, which I wasn't wanting, willing to take a $20 offer just because it's two pieces. Um, and I'm not sure if this was sold new together or if it was sold separate, but I thought for $20 for two pieces, that's like $10 an item. And I knew I could get more than that. And I did. So I ended up getting a $52 offer and accepted that. <laughs> the next item, now we're moving on to Etsy, is this uh, 1960s arithmetic book. So I, for a while, was trying to see if I can sell books on Etsy and it really wasn't working how I had uh, thought or I had hoped, but I did pick this one up to sell by itself and it did sell for $20. So I was happy about that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be like um, looking in the book section anymore just because books seem to be a little bit harder and a slower sell for me and I'm not really that knowledgeable on selling books so I'm not sure if I was out and about if I'd pick this up again but it did sell in a couple of weeks so um, I guess that's always good um, the next thing I sold on Etsy are these uh, six carnival glass uh, glasses and I picked these up at a yard sale for under $5, I think. I can't remember exactly how much it was, under $5. I originally wasn't gonna get this set as a garage sale, but um, I was getting a whole bunch of stuff. So the lady bundled a whole bunch of stuff and gave me like a great deal on everything. So yeah, and these were actually at my antique booth, but they ended up selling on Etsy first for $45 and I believe that I was running a sale of 20 or 25% off. So I still made a pretty good profit on this. The next sale are these uh, pink uh, depression glass glasses, just two of them. I picked these up at a local thrift store for 50 cents each. And like I said with the previous sale, I think I was running a sale um, this day when these sold and actually i listed them as cordials and when the person received them she left me a four-star review saying that they're not actually cordials they're like a like a full-size wine glass i guess and at the time when i was doing research i didn't know what cordial even was <laughs> like in um what cordial meant in like the glass world since I'm kind of new so I just thought it was like a style um 
of the glass so i just copied that title and used it but uh yeah so she didn't want to return it which is good and i still made a pretty decent profit but now next time i'll double check um whenever i try and copy and use someone else's titles to make sure that it does go along with um with what i have um the next item i sold on there is this laurel birch uh tribal pillow now i bought three pillows the day that i bought this one it was two laurel birch ones and another like 70s cat print um pillow and they were all like four dollars each from a garage from a goodwill and um laurel birch stuff can sell um you know it has its highs and lows and people do like cat things so i took a chance on these pillows and this one actually when i looked it up said that it was rare now i don't like using the word rare um because people just throw that word around all willy-nilly and it's not even like anything rare but when i was looking this up I saw a couple of people that used the word rare. So I was like, okay, well maybe this might be a rare one. Um, so I went ahead and used that title. And this one also was on sale, but I mean, I think it was like $50 I put it on sale, but even $50 for a pillow, that's insane. Um, I, <laughs> I mean, $60, $50, $40, whatever. That's a lot of money for a pillow, so I'm going to be looking at the pillow section a lot more um, whenever I go out to the thrift store. So yeah, this one uh, was a good sell as well. Now, um, this is the last sell that I have on Etsy, and it is um, Christmas, like a Christmas ornament, like White House collection or something. Um, I ended up getting this from that free garage sale that I did like a really short video about. Um, and so this lady was on Facebook Marketplace. She was having the garage sale. And then I get there and then she was like, yeah, everything that's left is free. I just really want to declutter my house. So go ahead and take what you want. So I was like, okay, cool. I was just grabbing stuff. I had my son. We were just loading everything up in the car. And I grabbed these and I was debating on if I wanted to list them or not. I don't typically post or buy like um, holiday items a whole lot just because I don't like to sit on um, seasonal items when it's not in season. But since these were free, I went ahead and took a chance. I got, I don't know how many of these I got, maybe 10 or 15 of them and this person purchased four or five of them so i had them at like uh 10 to 12 dollars each um and they bundled like four or five of them together and i think the total ended up being like 50 dollars, either 50 or 60 dollars. i did have like a little discount um so yeah that's um i'd say that's a pretty good sell considering it was free <laughs> i'll take Fifty to sixty dollars any day. Okay, those are the what sold from my computer, and I have a few what sold here from the from one antique booth. I don't know what has sold yet from the other antique booth because I don't have like a login information so I can check like every day or every week. So I get paid over there every two weeks. So I'll have the what sold um let's see friday for that antique booth i might do a quick shorts on just that one just to see if anyone was interested but here are three things that i have sold so far in one antique booth from september 4th through september 10th so the first thing i have um that sold was a shadow box clock it was a vintage um like 70s style um clock that sold i paid ten dollars for that at a garage sale no ten dollars at a goodwill and that one sold for seventy dollars um and the next thing that i sold were two black wicker chairs they were like a bamboo um 
from like the 60s or 70s. I originally purchased them for myself for my home, but ended up not liking them, used them for a little bit, and then got something else and resold those. So I sold both of those for $50. Um, I put that it was free just because I purchased it for myself, used it, didn't like it. So that's what I have for the um, cost of goods for that. And then the hand painted box, I think I showed that in a um, thrift with me or like garage sale with me one Saturday. So that was the same garage sale that I got the Tiffany jewelry from. And like I said, I paid $12 for everything. They did tell me at that yard sale that it was $5. So um, I don't know, I guess we'll just throw in a $5 um, fee for that one and I sold that one for $35 so that was everything that has sold for me in the sep in the week of September 4th through the 10th and I do have my sold breakdown um, so I have everything that has sold was um, $1,533.50 um, so that is across everything Macari Etsy um, eBay Poshmark and this one um, antique booth and then the fees I just deducted 20 cent or 20 cents 20% 20 across everything now the fees on Etsy are a little bit cheaper um, also on eBay and the antique booth so not everything is 20% but I just rounded up and just did a 20% fee on everything. So um, out of everything, the 20% fee is $306.70. My cost of goods is $321. And <clears throat> my total profit, um, I guess my takeaway money uh, for the whole week is $905.80. So, um, I think that's actually pretty good. So I turned $321. I know that Market Jacobs purse really upped my cost of goods for this week because it was $250. But I mean, I feel really good about that number, $905.80. And I worked from home um, a few hours. So I feel good Nine, if I can only make $900 each week, which I don't make $900 each week from reselling. I'm trying to get to the $900 mark. This week, I just ended up selling a lot of high priced items. And I think last week, um, if you watched my what sold from last week, I think it was like two or three hundred dollars that I made, which is still good. But um, I just don't want y'all to think that nine hundred dollars is what you're going to make every single week. And that that is the reality, which it's not. So some weeks are higher, some weeks are lower. Some weeks um, are zero dollar weeks, like during the summertime. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed my what sold video and let me know um, what has sold for y'all in the last week and what are y'all picking up at garage sales and thrift stores. Um, and don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below and subscribe. Thanks, see you next time guys.